Okay, so I got this frame from an op shop last week and I really like it. I think it's pretty cute and I want to surprise my boyfriend by painting something from one of our trips to the Grampians, which is our favourite place to go on holiday together and framing it in here and putting it on the wall for when he gets back from his trip to Adelaide. So, we'll see how we go. I found the picture that you can see on my computer screen here. It's one that we took uh, on our first trip when we first started dating back in 2020. So I think I'm going to try and paint this or at least a part of this. I might do some sketches to try and figure out the best composition I can come up with. I'm kind of liking this tree, so I might try and crop like this area maybe. I feel like that could be kind of interesting. This is very small, so it'll probably end up being like just a very small part of this photo that I decide to paint, but we will see how we go. So I have actually painted this scene before. Um, this is a bit more kind of bright and almost like Studio Ghibli style than I would like to go for. I'm going to probably reference this a little bit, but I want to go more for like the greys in this one, but then maybe a bit more saturation in the foreground. So something like that. So we will see what we can do here.
we are almost there on this painting I think I want to kind of look a little bit more at the focal area which I think is going to be here because it's going to be like some of my most complex and darkest shapes will be across like this really light background area but I do also really want to warm up this rock here and I actually think I'm going to darken the surface like the top surface of this rock here I don't think it needs to be so light I'm wanting to start a gallery wall in my dining area so I'm hoping to um, get this painting hung up there to get that started which I think might be a nice surprise for my partner. I think that's improved like the lighting a little bit. Now that I've done that I can probably get away with darkening these shadows a bit so I'm going to do that. We'll get some blue. I'm going to go with the same mix. I think that separates those two planes fairly well. I might want to saturate the yellow back there a little bit more as well. I think I've said before I love the contrast of purple and green mainly because green contains yellow so it's kind of like I forget the term but it is a form of a complementary color um, having the the purple with the green because that yellow in the green complements it really nicely so I'm gonna go with some Van Dyke brown get quite a bit of that and some ultramarine blue and that's probably one of the darkest tones you're going to see on my palette, but that's too dark for in here at the minute. So I'm also going to pop in some yellow just to kind of make it look more like it's part of the bush. That's uh, probably a bit too yellow. And knock that back with some crimson. And we'll see. That yellow also would have lightened the value a little bit. I think I want to go more blue. If I, if I darken these shadows, I can then actually darken the highlights on these bushes, which will bring them a little bit more into the foreground, but I can also saturate that, that dark yellow to make them come forward. So I think value wise that's kind of conveying fairly well. This is all melting into the shadow on this side. Got a little bit of highlight here, but then this is all coming into the light up here a little bit. So I'm probably gonna need to put some highlights on this tree um, and some more highlights on these trees here just to kind of show that that's where the light's hitting. Um, and I wanna, warm, like I said, I wanna warm up maybe with some burnt sienna, this rock here, cause I feel like at the moment it's a very similar color to to that one in the background here so let's have a look okay so i've been procrastinating a bit about this rock but we need to get into it so let's go with it's kind of like a purpley orange so I'm gonna go with some burnt sienna, some crimson, just to cool that down a little. So one of the reasons I decided for this part of the video to talk and paint is I actually paint better when I'm talking and when I'm talking about what I'm doing because I think I can just kind of verbalize what's going on in my head and figure out what I need to do like I just 
make better decisions about my piece and I'm probably less caught up in trying to execute this perfect piece and caught up in my head and instead I'm talking more about you know what I could do what's not working and what I could do to fix it I'm talking more about that instead of like stressing in my head and getting frustrated over things not working out and then just making poor decisions So one thing you really try to keep in mind when you're painting is colour theory and say you're painting with reds and you want a cooler red so it recedes more or it contrasts more and doesn't take up quite so much visual space in your painting. Instead of cooling it down with blue and ending up with purple, you can cool your warm red like this one down with a cool red like crimson which is naturally more blue but in a much smaller increment than adding blue to your existing red pigment and that will cool down your red make it recede without compromising on you know the actual hue of the of the red keeping it red not keep making it purple Okay, we are back. My mum surprised me. Um, she came over to help me with a little project that I'm working on. So we had a little bit of an intermission. I made a smoothie, which probably looks disgusting on camera, but it's tasty. And now I'm going to look at finishing this painting up. So I think now that I've got this texture here, I'm just going to leave that rock for the time being and cut a little bit into this area. I want to get my focal area looking a little bit more refined. Okay, now that I've done that, I feel like we're getting pretty close to finished. This area is lighter actually in the in the photo and I kind of like how that looks so I'm going to grab some Naples yellow which is kind of more just mess at the moment so I'm just gonna grab some yellow ochre and heaps of white that's probably a little too much a little bit more yellow ochre tiny 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 bit of Really, and just to knock that back a little bit, and then there's like a little bit of um, land in here that's really bright. I'm wondering if the viewer is being sent out of the composition, like visually, because I've got all of this light here and nothing really carrying the eye back in. Um, but I'm thinking this time around, I'm really happy with my colors and the light and everything. So I think I might just leave it and learn from it. And I think it's done. So let's peel the tape and see what we think. So 
So this is the version that I did in my sketchbook a while ago. Are we in frame? And you can see, I think this one is nice. It's very light. Whereas this one, I feel like I've actually captured the lighting more. So like the fact that the, the light is behind everything here, it's coming from, you know, behind the rock and this is silhouetted. Whereas this is a bit more just kind of all over the place with values, but it's still kind of pretty, but I much prefer the kind of realism of this one. my video today I hope you like the painting it is very small on this wall but I'm planning to do lots more paintings and maybe buy some pieces for this wall as well I've got a really long hallway so who knows we might just fill the whole hallway with art eventually but please like subscribe comment let me know what you think and I will talk to you soon bye